founder of Realtruck.com, which means that um, I just got really lucky and a lot of great people helped me take that business from uh, my basement to over 100 million in sales. And then, of course, uh, I'm a rookie author. I wrote this book, and the book is about work culture, but there's also a lot of stuff about entrepreneurial stuff. And But ultimately, it doesn't matter where you come from. You don't have to be from Silicon Valley, you can be from Fargo, you can be from Eula, North Dakota. But if you run your uh, business with principles, it'll turn out a lot better than you think it will. The book has tons of actionable items to enhance and grow any business. And I'd like to take credit for that, but a lot of those actions came from the people with real truck when we were going through the process of incorporating principles. Talks about how to deliver more to customers, partners, and employees. Because the best marketing you can have is if your customers are talking about you. Uh, if you create memorable experiences, for example, one of the ads I think Jeff wrote was that back in the day, real truck was that we sell bacon and truck accessories, and we're all out of bacon. Um, how to include fun at work and keep it going, uh, some e-commerce concepts uh, to win in your space. There was a chapter I took out of the book called The Doubtful Passenger. The, the things you have to overcome in your mind to uh, to move forward, you know, kind of that the, uh, people in your own mind that tell you you can't do something, but I may kick that out at some point, but it didn't really fit into the concept of the book. Why running a business creates more with principles, creates more reward and responsibility. Culture develops with or wealth to help guidance. So if you think about any football fans here, okay. So remember uh, Bounty Gate, New Orleans Saints, where they were playing player, players to hurt other players, right? And that was like totally cool until it got out publicly and then they were shamed. That's culture. This is culture. Every group, every batch of people, the bison, bison got culture, right? Um, and so it develops with or without guidance, and, it, and it, without guidance, it tends to be competitive. It leans towards being competitive and cutthroat. And uh, and who likes that? Why companies fail at creating culture? And then, of course, how to create a winning culture? How to get principles into your business, which is really a kind of a series of questions, and then and then catching people practicing those principles, whatever you value. Obviously, with real truck. Our principles were different things than a lot of you know, if we're building airplanes, you might want to have a value about uh, accuracy and precision, I'm thinking, but uh, versus uh, some of the ones that we had at Real Truck, but the, the, the same thing applies. Why transparency matters? Because it ultimately builds trust and it builds loyalty and it builds appreciation. Lack of transparency, of course, is distrust and slight neurosis. Um, a uh, culture of risk takers. Um, is the biggest driver of killing status quo. And uh, lastly, uh, culture of humility creates environment and responsibility where you have people uh, passing on credit and taking responsibility for things when it goes sideways and uh, an environment of lots of people catching lots of people doing things right. Uh, my friend Jeff, who's a, when I was owned real truck, was the president of the company. He's right there. Appreciate it. Jeff uh, helped Real Truck go from about six million to now I think over 150 million, but he's in the market for a job. So um, <laughs> the uh, Scott, aren't, hey Scott, aren't you in the market for a job? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, questions that I'm kindly asked, which is what might your number one question on e-commerce be, work culture, or entrepreneurship? Obviously, another question I get a lot of what you know, what do you think about Real Truck today and how it's being ran? My best answer uh, for that would be is if they uh, get back to focusing on the culture, um, it will be a lot more rewarding than if they're overly focused on making a bunch of money for a few people. But what do I know? Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> the, uh, but anyway, thank you for your time and. Uh, Please say happy birthday to my mother in Bismarck, and uh, that's my last slide. You can get the book kind of everywhere online, and there's also uh, a store in Grand Forks, a few coffee shops, you can get it in person along with in the lobbies at all of the uh, Million Cups locations. So thank you for your time. Woo!